Hello again, and here's another uh, of my Excel VBA tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can get at the data in your spreadsheets via um, your VBA code window. So uh, most users don't actually um, or won't actually see your VBA code, um, and you can actually secure it with a password so they can't see it. Um, however, you do obviously want them to see the spreadsheet up here and what's going on up here. Um, and maybe actually get them to put some data in that you can process um, within your code okay so you need to obviously understand how to um, get out that data okay so I'm about to show you that okay so without further ado you need to press alt and F11 to get your code editor up um, bring the spreadsheet to the front and then reduce the height so that you can see the spreadsheet and your code editor at the same time right click in your VBA projects window and click insert module Okay, type in your main sub, sub main. This can be any name actually, but I prefer to call my main subroutine main. Um, <coughs> okay, first thing you need to uh, understand here um, to get access to these these uh, these um, worksheets is you need to know um, what their names are. Okay, and the names are down here. So you can either get access via the name, or if you look over here again in your VBA project window. Um, you'll see the names here, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, and then you'll see what's called the object name, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. Okay, so this is um, sheet 1 is actually an object, and if right click and rename it to say demo, um, and then hit enter, you'll see the actual name in the parentheses here has changed in your VBA project window, um, but sheet 1 stays the same and that will always stay as sheet 1, always. Okay, so um, if a user changes the name and you use the name to reference um, the worksheet, uh, then you're going to be stuffed. Um, so you need to reference the actual physical sheet which is sheet one or um, you can use what's called um, I believe it's uh, active sheet or current sheet we'll check that out in a minute okay so anyway okay so to get active to our, um, our sheet we need to uh, basically point to the, <laughs> the cell reference of here which is D4 or D5 okay now this is a range, they call a cell a range, well actually no they call a cell a cell, but to get access to the cell you have to go via the range, and to get access to the range you have to go via the worksheet, okay? So we can type um, dime my string as string dime i as integer, and then we can say my string equals Active, oh, active. Spell that out of the language sheet. <laughs> dot. Um, sheet. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to type that. Sorry, I've got a foo bar there. Dot range. Okay, open parentheses, quotes, D4, quotes, close parentheses. Okay. And then we'll go to our debug and hit compile just to make sure it's going to work. And we've got no errors, which is a good sign. And we'll copy that string and we'll paste it below. And then we'll change my string to i. And we'll change d4 to d5. Okay, and we'll put a breakpoint on the end of the sub here. And we'll hit run. And then we'll get our mouse and we'll hover over my string and you'll see that it contains the word hello and we'll hover over i and you'll see that it contains the number 50 okay hello is in d4 and 50 is in d5 okay now that's using active sheet um, <coughs> don't forget you can also right click and then add watch to your parameters here okay and then i will do the same add watch okay and then they appear down here Okay, in your watch window, which is quite handy. Okay, so another way of getting access to the uh, to the ranges here is you can um, stop the program. Okay, and then you can say my string equals control C, control V, and you can just type in range. Okay, and brackets quotes D4 quotes close parentheses, um, or you can do um, my string equals sheet uh, one 
dot range. Okay, open parentheses, quotes, D4, quotes, close parentheses, or you can type my string equals sheet, open brackets, quotes, look at the name, demo, quotes, close parentheses. Okay, oh, don't forget the range, dot range. Okay. So, take that breakpoint off, put breakpoint at the beginning of the screen here. We'll comment this out for the moment. Now, a comment in VBA um, is just a comma. Okay. So, I do recommend you actually comment your code, if you, especially if you're you know, doing lots and lots of code and it's very easy to get lost in it. Um, so, you know, you can, uh, you can either type uh, REM and then la 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 for your comment. Okay, or you can type the comma like so, and then blah 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 blah, and you get a comment up. Okay, kill that. So let's run it. Oh, variable not defined. Sheet. Ah, right. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, but we got range in the wrong place. So it's sheet demo dot range. Okay. Open brackets. Quotes. D four. Quotes. Close parentheses. Okay, now F8. Oh my word. Sheets. F8. There we go. Alright, D4. So my string equals hello. F8. My string equals hello. And F8 again. My string equals hello. And if you don't believe me, what we'll do is we'll, try, we'll type hello in D4. There in E. And woohoo in F. Okay, and we'll change, we'll leave this my string at D4, we'll change this one to F4, and we'll change this one to, uh, sorry, E4, and we'll change this one to F4. Okay, let's stop the program, rerun it, press F8 to step through, and look down here, my string equals hello, press it again, okay, so D4, hello, press it again, E4, there, Again, F4, woohoo, okay? So these are all the different ways that you can actually get at your worksheet, okay? We well, have to remember um, that uh, if you're going to pass a string, don't assign it to an integer, otherwise it's going to complain. Make sure you declare the types properly, okay? So strings are strings, and integers are integers, and for singles or doubles, which are bits and bobs with decimal places, okay? Uh, if you want to put something back um, into the sheet, then uh, it's fairly obvious. I think you could probably work it out um, with what you've already learned. You just basically get your sheet reference. We'll copy that, paste it down here, and then we'll say equals, and we'll say quotes, my name, quotes. Okay. Um, we'll put that over here in H4. Okay, so H4, and then we'll put a number... Control C, Control V, in H5. Okay, we'll just set 45. Okay, so at the moment there's nothing in there. Okay, let's highlight all of these. Okay, and then comment all those out. All right now, there is a quick way of commenting those out, and uh, I don't know the shortcut key. I mean, I'm not even sure that there is one actually. Um, but you, up here in your toolbar, you've got a, this is a minim minimalistic toolbar. Okay, if you click on View. Um, I believe it is, and then go to um, Toolbars, and then select um, your edit window, um, and then attach it to your toolbar. You'll see you've got some indentation marks, markers here, a, a toggle breakpoint here, and then you've got comment blocks. Okay, so if you click comment block, you can see that you've commented that whole block out in one hit. Okay, and that means we can put a breakpoint down here. We can hit run, stop at a breakpoint. Okay, now observe. H4 and H5. Okay. Oh, sorry. Don't forget to uh, put H5 in here, not H4. And then F8. Click and look up here. This is my name. Okay. Click again. H5 equals 45. 45. Okay. So uh, that's it. Backwards and forwards from the spreadsheet to VBA. I uh, to the code editor. Okay. Not very painful at all. Okay. Anyway, until next time. Um, have a good one. Take care. Bye.